Howdy. It's Derek Glassberg from YouTube. What are we talking about today, Derek? What aren't we talking about today? Oh, goodness. One of my favorite series on business of fashion is None of Your Business. And after interviewing such luminaries in the fashion business, I thought I should turn the tables and ask Imran himself. Let's start with some basic BOF vocabulary. Okay. What is a HNWI? A high net worth individual. Tens of millions of dollars. Oh, so I'm an HNWI. Exactly. I wish. Mm. If I was, I wouldn't be on this couch. What's an angel investor? Angel investors are investors that invest before the professional venture investors invest. Sometimes they have specific expertise that they can give you, which is why they're sometimes called angels. I just assumed angel investors were dead people. No, they're alive. Okay. <laughs> Define the word entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who is building a business. So this whole series, None of Your Business, is focused on entrepreneurs. I think it comes from the word entreprendre, which means to like to undertake. undertake. Do you speak French? Oui. Which was the world's first stock market? <laughs> I don't know. It must be in Europe. Where? The Paris Bourse? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> Amsterdam, founded in 1602. Hmm. What does EBITDA mean? Earnings before interest, taxation, depreciation, and amortization. Right. Also known as a measure of operating profit. All right, all right, you got that one. Bam! What has been your biggest fashion faux pas? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your biggest business faux pas? See, I don't think there is a faux pas in business. You're one of those people that think they learn from all their mistakes. Exactly, because oh, when geez. you're an entrepreneur, don't roll your eyes, oh, but basically, you can learn from all the things that you mess up the first time. That's how you build a business. To whom in your business past would you most like to say thank you? Anne Hale. She was my professor on this case competition. And then I had a, like, a major dilemma in my life a few years later and I called Professor Hale and she gave me the best advice. Did you say like, Hale yes? There's a snowball's chance of Hale? I thought Hale. you said you weren't coming here for humor. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job? My first job was a salesperson at this Canadian men's store called Big Steel Man. We didn't have... Did you not have Big, Big Steel, Steel Man? Big Steel Man. We had small, soft yeah. women. <laughs> <laughs> wow. South Centre Mall, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. How does one get a job at the business of fashion? Asking for a friend. <laughs> one, you need to be a huge nerd. Two, we like people who have like a strong work ethic because building a company is really hard. Oh, and you, sh you should have a global outlook. Three, we like people who are nice. Ambitious, hardworking, nice, nerds with a global view. Yeah, you just wrote our careers page. Yeah. <laughs> what is BOF launching next? None of your business. Who's the next BOF cover? None of your business. What is your elevator pitch? None of your business. <laughs> no. Elevator pitch is basically that BOF is the global community for the fashion industry. It's not just a media company. It's not just a technology company. It's not just like a trade publication. It's really built around all the people. For an aspiring fashion designer, would you tell them to go to business school or fashion school? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way of saying like neither. I think a fashion designer is first and foremost need to nurture their creative voice, but they also need to have some understanding about how the industry works. So I think you should have fashion school, but take some business courses. Carl Lagerfeld didn't go to fashion school. He did not go to Virgil fashion Virgil Abloh didn't go to fashion school. He did not, but he went to design school. And then he went to the school of Kanye West. <laughs> it's not a bad school. That's a university, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a church. <laughs> how much money does business of fashion make a year? None of your business. <laughs> How much money do you make at Business of Fashion a year? Very little. <laughs> if you could run any business in the world, what would it be? Disney. 
Well, that's all the questions I have for that you was today. That's pretty easy, Derek. So, thank you. So generous with your business oh, thank of you. fashion. I'm getting back to work. See you later.